Welcome to another live stream watch along reaction. Tonight we are watching and reacting to Vancouver Whitecaps FC versus Toronto FC BC Place. For some reason, this game is being played at 6 30 p.m. Central, 7 Eastern, and 4 30 Pacific. But you know what? I won't complain. I could still watch the WrestleMania main event live, night one, of course. With that being said, I'm surprised it's this early. It's on the Pacific Coast. Why are we playing? Whatever, whatever. But we're ready to go. Athletic Club won the Copa del Rey final. Damn it. Damn it. El Vasco Aguirre and Kyle Aaron didn't win Copa del Rey. Damn it. Well, there you go. I mean, should I be shocked? No, but I hate that it happened that way. How we doing, Mal, huh? Watching Mania. Good. I'm only watching night two because of this game. I mean, I'll probably watch the Roman Cody tag match main event, but you know what I mean. Can't watch the whole show. I don't think I could last year either. Last WrestleMania I watched fully, I think it was 2022. Yeah, I think the timing was perfect because that was before MLS season passed, whatever. Every, on penalties. Hi, everyone. On penalties. Starting 11s are as follows. In goal for Vancouver. In goal, Yohei Takaoka. The back three of Bjorn Utvik, Ranko Veselinovic, Matthias Laborda. The midfield four of Ali Ahmed, Pedro Vite, Andres Kubas, Alessandro Schultz. Front three, Fafa Pico, Brian White, Ryan Gould. Toronto FC in goal, return of Sean Johnson. The back three is Shane O'Neill, Kevin Long, Nixon Gomez. So a return of Gomez as well. The midfield four, Jaquiel Marshall Ruddy, Davey Flores, Matty Longstaff, Tyree Spicer, and the front three of Federico Bernadeschi, Jonathan Osorio, and DeAndre Kerr. Interesting. How we doing, Roy? Nice, nice. Hit that like button. Let's get this one going. Let's have fun on this mania Saturday. Watching some football. Apple TV is good. I mean, the quality is good. I understand that it's, I mean, it is higher priced. But, I mean, everything's streaming now. I mean, five years from now, I don't think the people will be really complaining about the price. It is what it is. How we doing, Connor? But we'll see what happens. But again, Toronto, Vancouver. Vancouver is playing very well this year. They have 10 points. Both teams have 10 points coming into this game. Vancouver is second in the West. Toronto's fifth in the East. And both teams can get, depending on results, end up first in their conferences with a win. Toronto with a Cincinnati draw. Well, no, I think a loss is the only way. Cincinnati loss, Miami draw, Columbus draw, Red Bulls draw or loss. They could finish first at the end of the weekend in the East. Vancouver with a win and a Galaxy draw would put them top of the West. But, of course, it's about the win. Rapids win tonight. Let's see who they're playing. They play Miami. No. 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 Messi or no Messi, I don't think the Rapids beat Miami. Hate to tell you. But Messi will be playing, so... Got my eyes on three games. TFC, Vancouver, Miami, Colorado, LAFC, Galaxy, and then, of course, Portland, Kansas City tomorrow at, like, 12. Kevin De Bruyne scored a brace and got an assist today. Yep, I saw that. I'm not surprised. So, here we go. Hit that like button. Tijuana is 17th. Yeah, Piola has lost it. Who will win? I say Toronto wins. Toronto wins. It's called a watch along. I show the game, I got a copyright strike. It's that simple.
Bowden, Rodri, and KDB are Man City's best players right now. I would agree with that. They always are, though. I mean, it's not... I mean, Holland is a good finisher. He's a horrible footballer, though. There's a difference. Big up, Adam. How we doing? What I mean by that is Erling Holland is a great finisher. If you have Apple TV, you can. LA Day, El Trafico, Darby, Messi's back, he's on the bench, yep. But again, back to my point. Erling Haaland is an amazing finisher. He, is, he just has no skills, though. He's a tap-in merchant. Pretty much. So, ready to go. I have Apple TV, I'm watching the game right now. I bet you do. I think a good bit of us do. I'm not going to say everybody, because of course I'm not going to say everybody, but Holland hasn't been as good as last season. I agree with that. But even then, just because you're a good goal scorer doesn't mean you're a great player. There's a difference. Luton will stay up, I pray, and I hope Everton goes down. Starting 11s, Takaoka, Utvik, Veselinovic, Laborda, Schopf, Vite, Kubas, Ahmed, Pico, White, and Gould. Of course. If Miami wants any chance, he better. Starting 11, Johnson, Gomis, Long, O'Neal, Spicer, Longstaff, Flores, Marshall Ruddy, Osorio, Bernadeschi, Kerr. Starting to for Toronto. Watching LA Galaxy versus LAFC on Fox Deportes. Because, of course, El Trafico is on Fox. Because, <laughs> of course, it is. Players to watch. Ali Ahmed for Vancouver today is the player to watch. Hey, Ron, doom and gloom here, I'm sure. Bernadeschi, player to watch for TFC. TFC wearing their home kits tonight. Vancouver wearing their white kits, which are their home kits. The most recent time, Krylock's on the bench, Gold will play making, yep. Now, here's the one thing. Toronto's first appearance in Vancouver since the Canadian Championship Final of 2022 that they bottled horribly. Their first match against Vancouver since last year's MLS match at BMO that they lost 2-1. to one. Teams were walking out, ready to go. I'm not surprised. Pachuca beat Herediano 5-0. Imagine when they're home. Seven at least. At least if I was coaching, they'd win by seven. Because I would not pull off the break or the gas. I would not smash the break. I'm going on the gas. Herediano would be burning embers when I'm done with them. Or my team is done with them, I should say. Yep, 2-1 to one Vancouver last year in September. We were live for that one. We reviewed that one. We thought Toronto could win it. They did not. Also, that one wild game where Richie Loreo was playing on the other side, starting for the other side against Toronto FC. Which I'm sure if we look back at like mid-2010s Orlando-Toronto games, you probably find one of those too, but... After he became a Toronto legend. 
Because, yes, Richie Larea was playing for the Vancouver Whitecaps for half a season last year. That was painful. Fourteen games, might I add. Thank God we got him back, truly. And Vancouver couldn't sign him totally. My team RSL might be in trouble with Minnesota. I think you're right. They could use an alternate team because they're going to qualify anyways. Again, what I just said. If I was the manager of a team who was already 5-0 up in the Champions Cup, I would still, next week, score more goals. You're probably already through, but, you know, we don't pull off the gas here. Besides, it could help with the standings, of course, of actually getting to host the final. Because the more goals you score, maybe if you're tied up with somebody and it's a one-legged final and you're actually hosting at a host site instead of a neutral ground, if you have that higher goal differential, I'm just saying, might be the thing that separates you from hosting and going on the road. So there's a reason, I would say, especially if the other team is also doing the same thing you did. Would you pick Debo Martinez as your goalkeeper? Yes. Of course, if I had the opportunity to have him on my team, yeah, I would pick him. You'd be delusional not to. I'm a better manager than Tata. I think we all would be. I know I would be. Hell. I, I know I'd probably be a better manager than most of the retreads that we have in MLS and Mexico for that matter. As I said, there's only a certain number of people that could do good with Toronto. John Herdman is one of them. You're looking at the other. At least one of the two. I mean, yeah, Carlo Ancelotti would, but I think it's more likely he'd coach Canada than coach TFC. But yeah, if he wanted to coach at TFC, of course he would do well. Duh. Rio Retain, damn. I don't know why you're so mad. I'm happy Rio Retained. Besides, Becky's career ain't got much left on it. She said that herself, by the way, in her book. Okay. Well, you want her to be world champion? I guess so. I mean, I want John Cena to be world champion one last time. Yeah, I guess I would be a hypocrite. Whatever. Whatever. Canada won the She Believes Cup today. Ver won in the She Believes Cup today versus Brazil. Yeah, I saw that. They won on penalties. And guess what that means the final is? USA versus Canada. Why am I not surprised? But it's going to be on a real pitch. And you know what? I like Canada's chances on a real pitch and not a slip and slide. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And if Corbin Albert doesn't play, I like Canada's chances even more. I'm just saying Corbin Albert's a really good player. That's all I'm saying. I mean, the USA was struggling with that. For playing reasons is what I'm saying. I'm just saying Canada's got some really good chances. Game's about to start. My point being is Canada's got a really good chance in the She Believes Cup final to get some revenge for the semifinal. That's all I'm saying. I'm just looking at it through different lenses.
Because if you can't play your best player due to other reasons, you're going to lose. And when you already were going to lose on a real pitch, I'm just saying, that's all I'm saying. Can't play your best player for other reasons. But Toronto versus Vancouver is about to start. Byron is second in the Bundesliga. They've been dropping points, so Stuttgart almost passed them, but they're third because of goal difference. That doesn't matter. Leverkusen's winning the league. Title race is over. Kick off. Here we go. I'm just saying. I agree with that. This is true. They even they tried to do a lot more pregame stuff last year. Now they're just doing commercials. Yeah, I think they did definitely fall off on the pregame and halftime stuff. But, you know, I'm just here to watch football, so I can't even listen to them do pregame stuff. So, you know what? I, it doesn't really matter to me. One minute in. Oh, so. Worst pitch in MLS. Yeah, because it's basically a rug. It's basically a green rug. Like, they took all those, like, carpet squares from, like, kindergarten and all the green ones and just put them all together. As you can see, the lines. Like, there were two different looks of green carpet squares, and they just put them all together. Is Vancouver a shit show? No, they're actually good this year. I can't believe it either. Now, I don't know how good they'll be with Vanni Sartini as their manager because under the other guy, they were pretty good. <laughs> if they fall, I, I'm, I gotta say, I gotta say, just imagine, right? Vancouver hits a dearth of form under Vanni Sartini. They're like, oh, the interim guy, when he was suspended, did better than Vanni. We're gonna fire Vanni for this interim guy, the guy we had as an interim. And see if they're gonna really work out for him or blow up in their face. I'm not saying, oh, that's a bad giveaway by Matty Longstaff. I don't like it. Ugh. Gomez, that's how first row. It'd be nice to see Stuttgart take second. Yeah, I mean, sure, why not? I don't think we'll ever see a season of Bayern being worse. Bayern's like the Cowboys to me. Let's just put it like that. The only reason I care about Bayern is because Alphonso Davies plays there. When Alphonso Davies leaves, just like Dak Prescott leaving the Cowboys, I would, I'll hate Byron again. Cross in, blocked away. That's a corner for TFC. That's also true. They, they played the relegation playoff, and now they're about to be second. It would be nice. Vancouver fans are as bad as TFC fans for showing up on time. Yeah, I agree with that. Thoughts on the U.S. women's national team win against Japan? I'm not surprised. It's kind of funny. The U.S. women's national team beat Japan in a Nations League situation, similar to how Jamaica beat, or the USA beat Jamaica. Japan scores in the first minute against the run of play, and then the USA comes back. Isn't it funny how both semifinal wins in these Nations League-like formats came the same way? Or similar way. It's weird. Cross in. It hurts, though. Don't get me wrong. But, hey, at least Canada's in the final. I wish it was Canada, Japan. But, see, I have a team I want to see win third. Team I want to see win the trophy. I just wish it was Japan, Canada. That would have been so much better. I would have won either way. Eh. But I don't. So, but I don't. Yes, on penalties. So also, when they're taking penalties on a regular pitch, they're just fine. Again, the slip and slide beat us, not the USA. I will die on that hill until the She Believes Cup final. If we lose, well, so be it. If we lose, well, I guess the USA did beat us. But if we win, I can still die on that hill. And then when we play them in the Olympics...
Cincinnati 1-0, Lowell. At a high juke split game, the stands are full an hour before and after the game for the atmosphere. Wait, what? Careful what I wish for. Nice. Oh, Lord, don't tell me Canada's got to play on another slip and slide again. Jesus Christ. No. I would do an Italy jet. Been a while. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm doing well, and I'm feeling good. Last week was a slip up by the TFC. I feel good this week. I think they're playing well. 50-50, but I think they're playing well. Oh, we've only beaten them twice at home and drawn twice? I remember that draw that was an out before I graduated high school. Ah, shit. Brian White, goal! And I spoke too soon. Brian White slips on his ass and still puts one in there. One nil Vancouver. Now that's the old Toronto. Yeah, I think the old Toronto's back. Two straight Western opponents. And Davey Flores just gets dispossessed. Kicks the ball straight into the legs of Brown White and he slides down. He falls on his ass and still finds a way in there. Of course. Hey, at least it's only the sixth minute. They can't do that. Well, I mean, half of that's good. The Rio part's good. TFC looking weak is not the good part. Why do you want to see me suffer? Who am I kidding? I'm sure there's a good group of people on here that want to see me suffer. You're not the only one. 3-1-0 when scoring the first goal for Vancouver. Toronto's 0-1-0 when conceding the first goal last week. I like both, but I'm more of a Rio fan. Ha ha ha! Because he used to play for him, you know? That's a deep cut. Header. Long staff. No, because Mississippi State lost on match one, day one. I don't give a shit. I didn't give a shit after State lost, and I don't give a shit if State ain't in there. On either side. I can't watch everything. You think I'm going to watch? You think I'm going to watch Purdue just because there's a Canadian on that team? No! I can't watch everything. Night two, they matter more, which I uh, may have made a bad decision about that because they look like shit, but Toronto matters more than night one. I ain't signing on to Peacock on the computer. I can still watch the main event live. That's all that matters on night one anyway. I probably made the bad decision, but you know, they're playing right now. No, I'll, I'll be streaming them on Thursday, uh, Wednesday though. Of course. Eighth minute. Fair enough. But no. I stopped watching after State got eliminated. I watched more of the WBIT than I did March Madness. Because you know who was in the WBIT? Mississippi State! Mississippi State. Thank you very much. Yeah, I was poor defending. I actually watched that game. Louisville played damn well. It was nice to see it on CBS 4, too. It was nice. Um, but, yeah, Louisville played well. Absolutely played well. It was a good game from Louisville. They we were basically my USL team at this point. Who do you think has more of a chance to go through between Columbus and Miami and CCL? Damn it. <laughs> Realistically, Columbus, 
Messi's back, though, for Miami, so probably Miami, but realistically Columbus. But, I mean, they both have a shot. Columbus has the easier sledding, but the good news is Miami has Messi. Why ain't you running after that ball? See, they need to play faster. Again, they're playing slow. They started really, they're starting very slow. I ain't making a prediction. I thought Toronto would win tonight. They still can. You know, screw it, 2-1. Yeah, that's just hopeful. But, again, we don't really play well in Vancouver, turns out. We've only beaten them twice, and we've drawn them four times. Because they play on two coasts. Well, you want Toronto to play somebody at L.A. twice? <laughs> I think conferences make sense. You have 27 or however many teams now. You can split them. Looking like we're, we had that great run of form and now we're nose diving, just like last year, but quicker. You have a point. Yes. D dude scored a hat trick. He's on the best team in the USL. Shit. He seems better than anybody we have in Striker. We were moved when freaking Jordan Peruzza scored like three goals for San Antonio. Shit. Yeah, I do. I think you can do a job in MLS. Besides, Louisville is showing me, so you know what? Let's get Harris. Chivas for Pueblo today. Pueblo's last at the table. This is a good opportunity for Chivas to have more points. Yep. I agree with that. <laughs> I agree with that. So maybe them playing slow is sort of the uh, modus operandi of this pitch. But Jesus Christ. See, the thing about this is... Because money. Well, that's also true. But yeah, it's Timbers versus Vancouver is a true rivalry. We're playing redheaded stepchildren. There's a difference. Play the ball forward. I mean, they're playing so slow, but it doesn't help that the turf is slow. TFC are not playing fast enough. They're just not playing fast enough. Tyree Spicer, even he looks slow. I just said. Right now, it looks sort of... Uh, we had the good run of form, like we did against... Under... Perez, we had a good run of form, dipped. Bradley, a couple of times we had a good run of form, dipped. But they never lasted very long, and here we are again. We cannot continue runs of form. See, here's the problem, though. This is the best they've looked since 2020. Even if it's still not great, it's still the best they've looked. It's, it's a low bar to clear, but... I mean, we're st only fourth in MLS with goals against per match. Which, that means lowest goals against per match. So defensively, they're still good. It's just the fact we don't have any offensive play. Because we have no striker. If we had a striker... That helps a good bit. And seeing yeah, it turns out he was carrying hard. As well. Which is ironic, but... Probably the worst goal they've allowed, but it's... I wouldn't say found out. I mean, it doesn't take much, considering he did the same thing with Canada, and he got found out with Canada. It just took three years. It took a while. But that's because of the less amount of games. Good for him. Hey, hey, hey. I miss Javier Perez. I think he got railroaded. I think Perez got railroaded. 
arguably, I think under Perez, that was the best football we played since Vanny. Herdman arguably has it, but he has one speed. Herdman doesn't change things. He has one idea, and if it's not working, it doesn't work. Perez knew how to change things. I don't think the players are... The players have bought into Herdman's idea, but again, they just can't change. If it's not working, it's not working. Perez could tactically change. Cross in. Header. It's caught by Takaoka. Still 1-0, 16 minutes in. I agree with that, though. See, I agree with that. Save for the Perez days, yes, I agree with that. They liked, I think they liked Perez the most as well. I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Anything could work. Oh, and by the way, the transfer window is still open for some reason. Turns out I was not going to miss MLS while at work. This job at Massage Envy comes with a lot of downtime. Nice. Uh, you may have a point. Well, Solomon Rondon is pretty old. Not old, old, but he's definitely long in the tooth. Cross in. Header. I agree with that. He can't he can't adjust though. I mean, I I don't think I've ever seen John Herdman adjust. Canada or TFC. Again, I think that's the bad thing about Herdman is he can't adjust. You have to have multiple plans. See, you have to have multiple plans. You have to have a plan A, plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, plan Z. You have to have multiple plans because at some point, your first plan is going to blow up in your face. Eight town down under SmackDown champs. Oh, wait, is it the ladder match where they get both belts? So they're splitting the belts. Nice. You know what? Good for Waller. I don't like Theory, but I like Waller, so good for Waller. Theory could still Theory could still screw off though. He sucks. But Waller though. Waller's talented. I don't think Waller needs Austin Theory, but if it gets Waller more screen time, great. Eighteenth minute, one nil, Vancouver. Davy Flores, no foul. Bernadeschi plays up to Kerr. DeAndre Kerr, DeAndre Kerr off the post and past the post. How much bad luck from TFC? Takaoka acting like he made a big save. I, I still think that went off the post. Takaoka did cover well, though. No, he did. It did touch Takaoka's hands, but corner. No, no. If if Berhalter wasn't there, yes, but no. They still struggled with Jamaica. Cross in. Saved by Takaoka. But hey, I mean, at least Toronto had some fight there. Wide open game in L.A., not surprised. Yeah, what'd you expect? Yeah, what'd you expect? Nothing more, nothing less, to be totally honest. Wrestling mania. Yeah. It's WrestleMania Saturday, yes. And I'm watching a shit Toronto FC match. 
Well, I did last year, too, on WrestleMania Saturday, so I missed John Cena versus Austin Theory, which that was a horrible match, but... Because Austin Theory sucks, but whatever. What's your prediction for Real Madrid versus Man City? Real Madrid wins 4-2 to on aggregate. LAFC against the run of play. Well, I'm not surprised. Canada's better than the USA. USA only looks decent at home. Sadly enough, they play all their games at home. Oh, but by the way, that will change if they hire Frank Lampard. What fool thought it'd be a good idea to hire Frank Lampard as your national coach? Oh, Lord. I thought I was done with watching Fat Frank football. I thought I was done with it. Now, Canada? Oh, Lord, I'm going to rip my hair out if there was, well, there ain't much to rip out. There ain't much to grip on. That's the good news. Cross in, header, cleared. There ain't much to rip on. That's the good news. I'd rather have Moro Biello. I know, I can't believe I said that either. Ah, Frank Lampard's the worst. Frank Lampard is the worst. Can't wait for it to be bloodline rules on Sunday. Yeah, I want it to be an overbooked... I want it to be the overbooked, crazy, dusty finish match that it should be. I mean, it's, of course, it's going to be bloodline rules. I want overbooked Vince Russo level shit. That's what I want. Why isn't Suarez playing? Because this isn't Miami. It's Toronto, Vancouver. I'd love for Suarez to be on Toronto. Actually, no, I wouldn't. Suarez in Toronto would honestly be just as bad. Because he would never get that first goal to kick on free kick. Exactly. And exactly. Dude lost to Adrian Heath. I'd rather have Adrian Heath coaching Canada. He probably would do better. I mean, Adrian Heath ain't a bad coach. Neymar blew out his knee. That's what happened. You can't play it with a blown out knee because that's exactly what most of the games played on. Well... Ugh, it'd be cool if MJF screwed Rhodes and had to make a bloodline rules. That won't happen. And I think it'd be cool if Joe Hendry showed up. It'd be cool if Joe Hendry showed up on Sunday to help Rhodes win the title. Say his name and he appears. I believe in Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. Twenty-third minute. Oh, we're only dropping to six. That ain't wait. <laughs> what Truth and Miz win the Raw Tag Team Titles? Actually, that would be awesome. Twenty-third minute. One nil Vancouver in the twenty-third minute. Oh, the Funko Pop intervened. Playing Ford. Yeah. I mean, it looks like it the way they're playing. Playing Ford. Bernadeschi. The way they're playing, yeah. It's, it's the same sort of way they played last week. They're playing slow. They're second to every ball. Vancouver wants more. Longstaff is a smart passer. Yep. Ooh. 
Ryan Gold, Gold, cross. To the top of the box, wide corner. I mean, yeah, I think Longstaff is a smart passer, but you know what? I, I do agree. I do agree that TFC, they're playing exactly how they played last week, which is what made them lose last week. Without the dominant half, I should say. They're playing slow to every ball. They're second to every ball. They're playing slow to every ball. They're not in their right positions. The runs aren't great. This is worse than last week. At least last week they had a dominant first half where they should have been leading. Here, on the other hand, Gold is underappreciated. Great player. Because he plays for Vancouver, that's why. He is a great player, don't get me wrong, but... Vancouver's got a good team. I'm not going to lie. They got a very good team. They deserve to be. The, they, they've been the best team in Canada because they've won the Canadian Championship two years in a row, and they're probably going to win it a third. Why? Because they do. They want to win. See? They want to win. They have a good squad. They may be the redheaded stepchildren, but this is like, I don't know. Purdue won. Not surprised. Goalie pass back is stupid. Not wrong. Playing forward. Oh, free kick TFC. Just not on here tonight. Could have been. Just ain't. Sometimes he's not. Playing forward, long staff, cross. Come on, come on, come on. Bernadeschi, Marshall Ruddy. Ah. Yeah, I expected that one. I expected that one. I expected that one. Kerr, save by Takaoka and clear, dear Lord. Davey, Davey's, Davey's actually had a foot wrong, a couple of feet wrong today. This might be Davey Flores' worst performance. Two of them, DeAndre Kerr. Hey, that's better than the other strikers. Because DeAndre Kerr had two chances that luckily got saved. Damn it, we should be 2-1 up then. Ah, oh, hell, that's going to hurt. Ah, damn. Well, there you go. Ah, Lord. I mean, at least we're creating chances. We're very unlucky, but we're creating chances. 28th minute, 1-0 Vancouver. Oh, Sean, just, just get there. Good, 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 good. If that's called a penalty, I'm going to scream. He got the ball. Then White went down. They're going to call. They're, they're going to end up going to VAR and calling it a penalty, aren't they? Heads up play for Sean. Bars of fraud. I, I know. Our truth WrestleMania moment never won at WrestleMania until tonight. I'm happy for our truth. I'm happy for him. Dude's like in his like early fifties and still kicking, and he still looks in his twenties. Like truth ain't aged a day since he was K quick. Header goal, goal, goal. Fafa Pico with a header, and it's two nil Vancouver. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I think that Kansas City game broke us. Long throw from Utvik. Headed over. Plays down. Long staff gets bodied. Schultz head crosses it. Header by Pico.
we're gonna we're gonna be in pain until Insignia comes back, yeah. Defense sucks. Two simple goals. I guess it was bound to happen at some point. Fafa Pico in the 30th minute. Sean Johnson isn't game ready. It looks like he's been rushed back. Did you see how Gavron got his ass kicked last week? You want it to be Ranjit Singh? Yeah, I think Gavron still should have been the starter, but whatever. What did Herdman work on this week? Nothing. Apple TV. Herdman's lost the dressing room. I can't believe it was this quick. I think that Kansas City game legitimately broke him. I think it legitimately broke him. Is J.J. McCarthy overrated where you think he gets drafted? Honestly, I want the Patriots to draft him at three. If Tom Brady says J.J. McCarthy is better than him, at least at the point in the career he's in, uh, Patriots should go for J.J. McCarthy. Forget May. Forget Knicks. Forget Williams. Forget Jaden Daniels. I want J.J. McCarthy. Tom Brady gave J.J. McCarthy props. If Tom Brady says do it, I agree with Tommy. Tommy is right. Besides, if Tommy says do it, I say I agree. Told you they're going to lose. Herman won't be able to bring him back. <sighs> Not tonight, for sure. I mean, I didn't expect undefeated C's, but... Man, three weeks ago, it was so more positive. I'm still more positive than I was last year, but uh, flush this one, yeah. Maybe there is only one person that could lead this team to greatness. Maybe it ain't even Herdman. Hmm. See, Herdman can't fix what's needed to be fixed. Well, I agree. Because, I mean, we're losing the same exact way we lost last week. Guess what? It's called film. We're not playing fast enough. We need to play faster. We need to play faster. Our defense has finally been found out. Kansas City figured us out. Guess what? If we don't change quickly, hell, even when Insignia comes back, those wonder goals ain't going to save us. I think, no, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think we've been found out. I think I think Toronto, I think Herbman's been found out. He's always been a one-trick pony. He's always been a motivational speaker, one-trick pony. And our trick got found out. Kansas City beat the shit out of us. Vancouver's a really good team. They're actually a very they're actually a very good team. Of course they're gonna kick our ass while we're at their stadium. I'm not surprised. Header by Longstaff, that's out. I think it's on everybody. I think it's on the players not playing fast enough. It's on the tactics not being changeable. It's on Manning not getting anybody worth a shit. Besides Tyree Spicer, I mean, Davey and Longstaff, but guess what? Just because we get good defensive midfielders, yeah, we have a better spine. We're not going to allow 60 goals a season. Scoreline 2 0 Vancouver. Good. It's on everybody. It's on Herdman for not being able to change his tactics. And not being able to motivate the team. Shot past the post by Gould. 
it's on the players for not playing fast enough and not playing faster and not making the smart decisions and falling apart under the pressure. It's on Bill Manning for not getting a striker who's worth a damn and sticking with a basic team except getting a first round of number one pick, Longstaff and Davey Flores, which again are good signings, but here's your problem, and Long. But here's your problem. We need a striker. Luckily, Insignia bought in. Guess what? He's hurt. Oh, and it's also a problem that our freaking physio team has not been fixed. Or what our new physio team is having the same problems as our old one. It turns out Alex McKechnie still works for the Toronto Raptors. He's still in the building. What the hell are we doing not talking to him? The soothsayer. I'm sure, I'm sure you can give him some time. The Raptors ain't doing shit. They're tanking too. 36 minute. I don't I don't know. It's on everybody. Yes. Tijuana sucks right now. Only thing that makes Jimmy Lozano better than Herdman is Jimmy's a flexible tactician, whereas Herdman isn't. I would agree with that. Yeah, Jimmy Lozano is better because he's a flexible tactician. But even he makes some bad selection decisions because for some reason he hates Santi Jimenez. I still can't get over that. We need a coach who can adjust to different situations. People don't put it on Herdman. They feel he's doing exemplary. The coach needs to learn how to get his team in the right situations. Yeah, I mean, he's not perfect. The problem is... The team is playing better than any other time besides Javier Perez. And even then, it's equal. Okay. Good to know. You got a burner. You know, it's... <sighs> Javier Perez and Herdman's time has been somewhat good. Problem is... Good for him. You're not wrong. MLSE. To win with this team under MLSE, you have to have an exemplary front office. No cracks. Because it's happened before. We won under MLSE. There were no cracks in the front office. Tim Lawicki. I mean, Bill Manning legitimately is John Mazalak. Like, it's like the Cardinals. I like to put it like this. Bill Manning inherited, as a president, a very good team from Tim LaWicki. Dumbass went and fired or let Tim Bezbachenko walk back to his home city. Look at what Columbus is doing with Tim Bezbachenko. Hires Ali Curtis, who is the worst. Ollie Curtis ends up pushing Greg Vanny out, who was the last bastion of the good times. Vanny saw the rotting on the wall, got the hell out, coaches LA. Look at LA Galaxy now. It's finally coming together because they actually have a GM. Hmm, interesting. Which is basically all they said they needed was actually a proper a GM. Okay. So Ollie Curtis brings in his dude. Only lasts what? 12 games? Javier Perez looks great, but I guarantee you, you know what? I agree with that. They still went to the World Cup, though, the first time since 86. And besides, Herdman admitted that he probably shouldn't have been coaching the World Cup due to family situations. He wasn't motivated enough. And here we are. They won the 2000 Gold Cup. Top of qualifiers. Did you think they were going to win the World Cup? I didn't even think they'd win the World Cup, and I still thought they'd go deep before it happened, of course. I didn't say win. TikTok on Manning getting the boot. He should have got it three years ago. But back to my point. Uh, Chris Armis, you know what happened to Chris Armis and Javier Perez? They had to make the playoffs to keep their job. 
Armis was so bad, he got canned instantly. Perez does well, but guess what? He doesn't make the playoffs. They get rid of him. Shot saved by Johnson. They get rid of him. He makes the playoffs. They keep him. Guess what? Bob Bradley comes available, which he always was. Bill Manning hires Bob Bradley, who was already becoming a dinosaur. Just because Michael probably wanted it, too. Michael probably vouched for him. Bob's like, yeah, Bob's, or Bill's like, Bob's won everything. He'll be fine with us, even though the underlying numbers for that last season with L.A. were absolutely horrible. He was already becoming a dinosaur. I think Armis and Perez got railroaded. See, Bradley was the guy they wanted all along. That's why it took so long for them to sack him. Because he should have never even made a second season, let alone halfway through the guy, the damn thing. He should have never lasted as long as he did. That's the guy they actually wanted. Yep, I'm all ready to push. I'm all ready to push the panic button. To be totally honest, I agree with that. Yep. Fair enough. I'm not gonna lie. I'll give Herdman another shot under a new president GM. Well, okay, now I like Jason as well. If 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 Manning gets fired, I'd give Herdman another shot under a new president. Oh. Are they saying Bernadeschi almost got hurt in warm ups? Ah, oh, frickin' Lord, Jesus. Bernadeschi free kick here. 2 0, 40 second minute. Yeah, you're right about that. Well, who, let's be honest, in theory, that was a very hard, hard group. I still thought we could do something, but it was a hard group. Not yet, no. Vancouver fan here. My stream has no audio. Hoping all Canadian teams do great this year. It's all about Apple TV. Vancouver's doing well, though. Um... Bill Manning is the president of MLSE, or, well, president, not president of MLSE. He's president of TFC in the Argos, but he's one of the top guys at MLSE. Larry Tannenbaum is the president of MLSE, who he wants to leave as well. So there's also some backroom problems besides Manning. Tannenbaum is about to be pushed out. Who He was the one who sort of gave Masai Ujiri the belief. Shanahan, yeah, I don't know. I think Shanny's not that good either, but I agree with that. President of TFC and Argos. Oh, here's the problem, though. The Argos are amazing, though. That's what's saving Bill Manning's ass. The Argos had the best team in CFL history last year, don't you know? That still lost in the Eastern Final because Chad Kelly got a concussion, which, you know what? I'm glad Chad Kelly was the one to piss it away. There's a hole in Oxford that they call Ole Miss. Go to hell, Ole Miss. Go to hell. What, you think I want to root for a starting quarterback in the Argos that went to Ole Miss? You're out of your mind. Can't wait for Will Rogers to be the Argos starter in a year. I'm sure they're going to have to shit can Chad Kelly at some point. Will Rogers would do better anyway. Mm. Is Blake Shapin a senior, by the way? Is he a senior? Well, I could take Blake Shapin, too. Well, if, T well, if State's going 10-2, and two, he's going to the NFL. Yeah, probably would be Will Rogers. Probably would be Will Rogers. Hell no. Honestly, yes. Me, too. If we, if we lose that game, delete the club. <laughs> delete the club. I will be throwing lightning bolts if that happens. I don't think you see me that angry. Like, legitimately, if we lose to Simcoe County Rovers, if Toronto FC loses to Simcoe County Rovers in the preliminary round of the Canadian Championship, I don't think you've seen me that angry before. Like, that's going to be full biblical. Freaking locusts are going to be raining down from the sky. Level anger. Like, you've never seen something so heated. You better hope. Like, oh, oh, it's going to get views. Like, Simcoe County Rovers? Who the hell are they? 
besides League One Ontario fans be like, who the hell are they? Toronto FC lost to Simcoe. Dude, that'd be so, so embarrassing. Like, I don't think I've ever been that angry. Even 7-1 might not add up to what the hell would happen that day if we lose. Like, I think that would be Zamboni driver level. Like, you know how Steve Dangle went off about David Ayers? Like, that heavy? Shit, I think that's, I think that's the Zamboni driver moment for me. I think if we lose to Simcoe County, that's my that's my Zamboni driver moment. No joke, 45 minutes. I, I can't lie. It's going to be the Zamboni. That's going to be my Zamboni driver moment. So I know some people want to see that, Alex. Is TFC a lost cause at this point? They're about to be. They're about to be. USA would have lost, but it would have been less embarrassing. Talk about the Jamaican game. Hamstring, soft tissue, like always. Yeah, they would have lost, but it would have been less embarrassing. Yeah, there's the answer. Yeah, me too. I hope Toronto wins the Canadian championship. And if it ain't them, I want it to be Forge. And I guess Calvary third. Because you know what? I don't want the redheaded stepchildren to win it. I don't want the redheaded stepchildren to win it as much as I don't want Montreal to win it. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah. Toronto Forge Calvary. Pacific's in some trouble, though. Sad to see, though. Nice. PK for the Rapids. David Ayers was born in my hometown. Speaking of David Ayers... Speaking of the Zamboni driver. Yeah, that's awesome, though. We still lose, but we'll probably lose 3 2 to the Netherlands. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. 47th minute, 1 0 Rapids. Not surprised. Wait, what? Well, I mean, you can't miss a penalty. 2 0 Vancouver. Boop. <laughs> There needs to be a regime change at TFC, yes. Halftime, it's nil to Vancouver. Two nil, Vancouver. It's actually funny. Speaking of Zamboni driver. Yeah, whatever. I think my mental health might crumble if Forge win the Canadian Championship. Mm. I'd be happy. <sighs> but I'm a Forge fan, so... I have no problems with Calvary, though. Besides, they ain't going to beat you for it, so... It's not like Forge is going to beat you for the third time in a final. If they were going to win it, hell, I don't even think they could beat you on the way with how the draw was, but I have to recheck that. So I don't know why your mental health would crumble, but you know. With that being said, take a short break of the half, talk about the stats. 2 0 Vancouver. Toronto's falling off a cliff, man. Going down the tubes, buddy. Sit tight, I'll be back.
Back from the stats half. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Stats now. 55% possession to 45% possession. Nine shots to three. Three shots on goal to two. Both those two shots on goal barely saved. Luckily saved. That's why it's 2-0. Arguably, it could be 2-2. But you know what? On another day, it would be. But, you know, it is what it is. 232 accurate passes, 85% to 181, 80%, 5 fouls, 7, 3 corners to 3, 9 shots to 3, 3 shots on goal to 2, 273 passes to 225, 85% pass accuracy to 80, 13 throws to 8, 1 offside to 0, 0 yellow cards to 1, 0 red cards, 0, 2 nil Vancouver. Oh, Lord. They're, they're playing horribly. I, I can't say anything else. They're trash. I mean, they are legitimately, they've been found out. They're playing slow. The reason they lost last week is the same reason they're losing this week. I mean, seriously, it's it's so bad. Like, it's just two defensive mistakes. Two crappy defensive plays. Oh, hey, it's still we're still sitting in fifth, though. Results are falling our way so far. Good news. New England's winning a game. What the hell? Okay, results are falling our way. That's all you can ask for, I guess. It's difficult supporting Man United, Bayern Munich, and TFC this year. <laughs> oh, you don't know the half of it. Toronto and Chelsea. The last two years, well, the last three years have been hell for me, but especially since Chelsea got bought by Todd Bowley. Dear Lord, I have no solace. You think Bayern, yeah, Bayern might be having a shitty season, but well, hey, he might be right. He might be right. He might be he might be right pulling a Mark Messier. But you know what? TFC's they're playing like crap. That's all I can say. They're doing the same stuff they did last week that made them lose last week. Except instead of wonder shots, it's horrible cross clearances on crosses. Horrible defensive clearances that lead to goals instead of long shots. That's the only difference. Oh, and they're on the road this time. Feel bad for Harry on Byron. Eh, not me. I don't know. Red Bulls are good this year. Pachuca, they're pretty damn good. If we keep playing the way we are and don't bounce back, we're out in the group stage again. If we somehow bounce back, we could get out of the group and go somewhat deep. Still better hope we win the Canadian Championship because that's probably the only way we're getting to CONCACAF, though. Man, that fourth win is going to be elusive again. Jesus Christ. Second half's about to start. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's keep this one going. Lord have mercy. Uh. This team's a joke. Maybe I should have watched WrestleMania instead. I think Herman wants to bring in Sean Longstaff from Newcastle. However, if they bring him in as a DP or TAM player, I think he's lost his mind. I don't think that's a now thing. I think that's more of like a three years down the road, four years down the road thing. Like, Sean wants to play 
with Toronto. That is true. I don't think it's a now thing. I think it's more of a three, four years down the road thing. I mean, hell, if he's one of our DPs four years down the road, well, hell, if he's not good enough to do that already, maybe it's a good thing to wait four years. I'm surprised he wants to play here. You know? I'm surprised John Herdman sold Sean as much as he did Maddie. Like, I guess they really do want him. He might be here earlier. I don't know. You don't sell somebody for some you might not even be there for. I guarantee you Herdman's probably the reason why Maddie wants to be there. So, or Sean, I should say. Lord, he is coming this summer, isn't he? Or next, this off season, isn't he? He's still Premier League quality right now, so I mean, in theory, he probably will be a DP. Now, the problem is we still need a striker. That's why he's lost his mind. It's not about the quality. It's about the fact we need a striker. We still already have two DPs. And they aren't going to change the roster rules. Yeah, there we go. I agree. They should add to name Premier League teams to Leagues Cup. At least the top two. The Shield winner and name Premier League champion. I agree. Or Cup champion. I agree. Thoughts on the U.S. Women's National Team beating Japan? They didn't look great at all. They didn't look great at all. They won like Jamaica, like the men beat Jamaica in a Nations League type situation. They went down early, then came back round. Now here's the funny thing. It ends up being CONCACAF Classico in the final after that fact. Could have been another USA-Brazil final. Thank God, no. But, of course, the Mexico-USA CONCACAF Classico and the Nations League final and the Canada-USA Classic and the She Believes final. So, What day is that anyway? I think I'm covering Champions Cup anyway. Uh, I could probably watch both at the same time. Probably Tuesday at least. Wouldn't be Monday. But would have been nice if it was Japan, you, uh, Canada. I won either way. Uh, but, but. Gonna live stream the Tyson versus Jake Paul fight. Uh, no. If I'm not doing Mania, why would I do the Jake Paul fight? Now, what I do want to see... Is Logan Paul's been saying he wants to fight in the UFC? You know what? I want to see it. I want to see Conor McGregor versus Logan Paul. I want to see Colby Covington versus Logan Paul. Hell, bring Chael Sonnen out of retirement and have him fight Logan. That would be hilarious. Chael could probably still kick his ass. That would be awesome. I hope Tyson does kick Jake Paul's ass. But, hey, if Logan wants to fight in the UFC, I got a couple people I want to see him fight. Chael Sonnen, Connor, Colby Covington. Sean Strickland is way too... Way out of his white class. That's the only reason Sean Strickland won't fight him. Well, no. Possibly could. I mean, Sean Strickland did spar Sneeko. That J Brone. That J Brone. <laughs> that J Brone. Hold on. Jake Paul wins against Tyson. The match was rigged for Jake. Acting like... Do I think Mike Tyson could still kick his ass in his 50s? Yeah, for sure. But again, let's remember, Mike Tyson's in his 50s. If he lost, it wouldn't be shocking. 
like, yeah, he's still the better boxer. He's still probably still got it, but what the J the Jimmy J match? That actually would have been awesome. Second half's about to start. I think UFC should introduce five v five fights. Welcome to the UFC Survivor Series. Now that we're owned by TKO. Speaking of, don't you know there's going to be an NXT event hosted at the UFC Apex sometime this year? They're going to do a takeover. Shane O'Neill off for Cozy Thompson. John, what are you doing? We're already having defensive problems today. You're putting on Cozy. Oh, Lord. I don't know what the hell he's doing. I didn't see Shane get hurt. What the hell? I I don't know, man. I don't I don't know. This is BS. Jesus H. Christ. Yeah, the She Believes finals on Tuesday at 6 p.m. I guess I could do the second half double. I think Herdman's been found out for sure. He's making some mistakes and expe expecting different results. Yeah, here's the bad part about that. He did the same thing with Canada. Dude knows he's going to get found out at some point. That's the thing that pisses me off. And in theory, during club football, it's going to be a lot quicker to get found out than inter international football. Because I hate to tell you, I hate to tell you, but uh, you play more games. See, this is the thing that pissed me off about Herdman in the end with Canada. Because he did piss me off. 0.8% chance of winning. That sounds about right. But a 3.7% chance for a draw? Okay, no, that sounds about right because he took off the center back. But, again, I guess at least he's trying something. But Cozy Thompson for Shane O'Neill? Like, no. Like, seriously, here's the problem. The thing that pissed me off about Herdman in the end there was he was losing the locker room, probably because of the CSB thing. And his tactics were not, were finally found out. Because again, once you finally get your ass kicked by somebody, people are really going to pay attention to that, like the Croatia game, and be like, okay, here's how, and even then, closer to the World Cup, it was starting, you could see the cracks. But that Croatia game is like the Kansas City game here. They got their asses kicked, Canada, by Croatia. People are like, oh, here's how we beat them. Plays in, cleared, and here we are. I think the tactics have already been found out. The locker room will fall inward. I'll give it a month. If, if we don't start winning games again, it's going to take about a month. See how what happened with Bradley? Like, these players are so... See, under Bradley early on, guess what? They said they were bought in. And and seeing Ann Bernadeschi were bought in until it fall apart. Right? Like until about what? September? Late August, September of 2022, they were bought in. Then it started falling apart. The form went down. Guess what? The locker room fell inward. These these guys are a bunch of flakes. And if it's and honestly, it seems like it says what Bernadeschi and Insigne says goes. If they fall inward, everybody else is falling inward. We already saw this before. So if we don't start winning by the time Insigne gets back and give it a couple of weeks after that, I'll give it two months. The locker room will fall inward on itself in about two months and we don't start picking up results. Or just good results. So I'll give it about two months because Insigne has still got about four weeks out. He's going to come back, and then once they stop getting results with him, it's going to fall inward. 
So, yep. Watch tomorrow's game. Rika versus Haiju. See who TFC should go after. Tony Fook leads the league with 13 assists. 23 is going to take Muldrich's place on the national team. He plays like De Bruyne. That guy sounds like he'd be awesome for Toronto. Could Carlo Ancelotti fix TFC? Tactically, probably. Do I think he has the passion to do it for this club? No. He'd probably be happy with a payday. Be like, okay, here's my tactics. See what happens. Do I think the Italians wouldn't stab Ancelotti in the back? No, they wouldn't. Because Ancelotti's a god to them. So even if it did start, that's probably the good thing about Ancelotti is the Italians would probably still be on side with him no matter what because he's a god to them. What about Jimmy Lozano? Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. No. See, here's the thing about Jimmy. He's tactically flexible, but he ain't great. And besides, I wonder what player he'll hate like he does Santi Jimenez. Jimmy's not perfect. Besides, what, you want him gone already? If he picks up the Toronto job, he's gone with y'all. And now you're stuck with, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It ain't going to be fun, though. Lol. So, throw in. Vancouver, 52nd minute. Man, this game sucks. But again, it's it's a very similar situation. Nice play, Tyree Spicer or Kolkar Tata. Oh, hell no. I don't want any of those three near Toronto FC. It'd be like Bradley, but even worse. Spicer, Tyree Spicer plays it up top. Kerr doesn't get the receive pass. Damn, he could have cut the lead down to one. Osorio, Bernadeschi, Bernadeschi. Come on, boys. Come on. Chips over the top, headed away. Just ain't falling. That's another bad part. Oh, that's a free kick. He got bodied. That's a red card. Jackass. Not just a yellow. That's violent. That's violent conduct. You're telling me that's just a yellow? You're freaking crazy. What the hell? It, it, maybe that's why I know so well about the FMF being shit. It's because TFC does the same shit. He got freaking body checked. That's a red. That's an absolute red. How in the hell is that just a yellow? Mavafa Gulo. Okay, God, so no way. No, 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 no. That's called a body check, dude. I don't know, man. I could see Miami winning 3-1, which would be enough. Yeah, that would be enough. I say 3-1 Miami thanks to Messi. Away goals to Miami. 54th minute. Where's the VAR check? Free kick taken. Header on. Punched away by Takaoka. Vite clears. I can't believe they didn't check VAR. He got body. He got bodied. The fuck are we doing? Who's the yellow card for now? Davey Flores gets a yellow too. Great. Messi. Better player. I was always more of a Cristiano fan, but Messi's truly the better player. Oh, horse collar. I guess that's why. Yellow card. I still think Vancouver should be down to 10. I still think they should be down to 10. I think Toronto got hosed. Dude, a body, like a legit body check. And you're telling me. Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. 
So you're telling me a legit body check is not a red card. Vite, good play by Gomez. Honestly, I might. I don't know. I don't think... I might say it, that TFC is like the FMF. I might say it. I don't know. I won't. Is Sartini going to start acting like a jackass? Let's find out. Oh, my God. That was almost an own goal. What are we doing? And Long is down. Oh, my Lord. Five goals in two games. It's obvious Herdman can't fix what needs to be fixed. And Long is down, holding his leg. Our best center back. Even worse. Ay, ay, ay. Nightmare TFC again. We never... We had a, we had a loose... <laughs> Those good results at the start of the season were a lucid dream. We never came out of the nightmare. We just had a lucid dream for about four weeks. Now we're back in the nightmare. The, the nightmare turned into a lucid dream for four weeks. Now we're back in a nightmare. Nothing really changed. Like, you know how, like, in a nightmare, you might have, like, a fun part of it where it's like, hey, this ain't no nightmare. Yeah, that's where we were for, like, four weeks. A lot of the teams I like get so many injuries. I have no idea. Flores played center back or midfield? Midfield. So what games do you see TFC winning realistically? I'm not going over their whole schedule. Simcoe. I swear to God, that's the one I see them winning. Simcoe. After that, I have no idea. Like, games that I thought they could win like three weeks ago were not games I think they could win right now. See, I, that could change quickly. Or maybe it won't. I don't know. Spicer. Cross in. Kerr. DeAndre Kerr. And that's going to go out for a goal kick. So, I, Simcoe County. That's it. Because if we lose that, I'm going to legitimately rain locusts down upon this team. Like, I'm going to be so angry that locusts are going to rain from the damn sky. Playing forward. It's not that bad, Ryan. Last year they were brutal. TFC just gave up two dumb goals. You're right. But I'm seeing some bad signs. There's a difference. Yeah, last week they gave up three piss missiles. Tonight they gave up two dumb goals, but they've still given up five and only scored one in their past two games. I'm seeing a lot of bad signs. I'm seeing a lot of things like last year. Like, I agree with... I'm not as so much of a doomer as Steve, but I can see what he's saying, okay? He's not totally wrong. Yeah, now we're at about 90% bad. It went up to like 45% bad. Now we're at 90% bad. We've fallen back a bit. We, we backslid. But hey, at least it's not 100%. Yeet! Yeet! DeAndre Kerr. Jey Uso won. Yeet! Now TFC, on the other hand, is no yeet. No yeet. Rivestereo and Andrade beat Dominic and Santos. Larea's injured. He's been injured about three weeks. Yeah, he only played the Cincinnati game, actually. He's been injured the whole year. I want TFC to yeet, but tonight we are certainly no yeet. <laughs> exactly. 
I guess Lorena, he's been injured since game one. That's also a bad thing. That also doesn't help. Our two best players are hurt. That also doesn't help. Spicer. Cross in. Cleared. Thirty-one saves for Tirana this whole season. We're the top. We're the second. We are joint top of the league in saves. That's a bad thing. Messi, one-one. I'm not surprised. It could be a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. Header. I can sense two-one coming soon. It is Sean. The old TFC is back. Turns out the Englishman wasn't the answer. I always knew the pirate was the answer. Whatever. Because the Englishman certainly wasn't the answer. Raposo's coming on for Ali Ahmed. Thank God we had the fake positive start. I could not imagine how the season would be if we were just still negative. I think that fake positive start was good for my mental health. Other than that, other than that, nothing. Proposal on for Ali Ahmed. Boom, 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 boom. By the way, San Antonio Brahma's XFL beat Memphis Showboats. Showboats blew a 18 to 9 lead. Okay. I'm more worried about the Battle Hawks. I can't believe the Battle Hawks lost to a last second field goal. Shit. 62nd minute. Last week, of course. But at least they're playing the Edward Jones Dome tonight. Well, go, 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 DeAndre. Go, go, go. And it's a free kick. A storm is coming is next. I don't know if you're talking about WrestleMania or TFC. WrestleMania. Miami 2-1, just like that, Alfonso. Well, good for him. Schaffenberg hit the goal post. Man, we should have kept him. I think that was Bob Bradley's worst mistake, I think. Or at least one of them. 63rd minute. Vancouver's going to score one more. Probably, but you know how that's going to happen? We're going to end up scoring two, and then in Tobias' time, it's 3-2 to two Vancouver. Just, just wait. Just wait. They're not going to completely kill us off. We're going to somehow come back because TFC is putting the ball forward very well. Header. Spicer! Past the post. Yeah, pretty close. <laughs> Let me tell you, if Vancouver scores a third, it's going to be we're 2-2 two, two drawing, and then Tobias time they score a third. I've seen this before. I've seen this movie before. Jade Cargill, Bianca, and Naomi versus what left the damage control. So... Dakota, Kyrie, and Asuka. Jade Cargill is awesome. I mean, I swear, she's an amazing wrestler. I'm a big fan of Jade Cargill. She's amazing. Alonzo Coelho coming on for long staff.
65th minute. What if? Why are MLS games longer in Canada? I'll, I'll answer in a second. Because technically, metric system? It's got to be the metric system, right? It's got to be a metric system joke, right? That's my, that's my thought. Bernadeschi, Spicer blocked. What if Bacala returned? <sighs> don't even, don't even bring that up to me. I, I think my brain would break. I think my brain would break. Carbon tax. Oh, Yeah, I should have seen that one. Yeah, that one should have been obvious, too. Drill, baby, drill! Dummy. Drill, baby, drill! Not to tax more of the carbon, just drill, baby, drill, because drill, baby, drill. I mean, what if Bacala Jr. returned as a head coach? I mean, that's going to happen someday, I bet. I don't want it to, but at least he wasn't the head coach. I mean, I'd give him a chance. Very short leash, but I'd give him a chance. Three goals from set pieces for Vancouver. Because, I mean, there shouldn't be a carbon tax. There shouldn't be any taxes at all. Cross in. Header. But, oh, the carbon tax is going to save the, the environment. Yeah, you're the only country with one. If, if, Fran, if France had one, I may believe you. If the UK had one, I might believe you. Hell, Joe Biden hadn't even put, put in a carbon tax yet. He sure won't do it this year because he knows that would take his re-election chances. He knows. You raise taxes on Americans during an election year, you got balls. I actually might respect him for that. He would be wrong, but I might respect him for the fact that he's a dumbass enough to have the balls to raise taxes on people during an election year. Taxation is theft in general. But, uh, yeah, if you're the only country that has a carbon tax, it's not going to save the environment. I hate to tell you. Even Al Gore would probably tell you the same thing. Uh, neither. J.J. McCarthy. Neither. J.J. McCarthy. Saved by Sean Johnson. Neither. J.J. McCarthy. If I had to choose, uh, Drake May. I think Jaden's a fraud. That's all I'm saying. It's cash grab Trudeau saying Canadians are needing to be taxed so we can have get a rebate check. It's best to keep the hands out of our pockets. Again, that last line is exactly what I'm saying by taxation is theft. But it's funny. Rebate check. It's like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll pay you back, though. Yeah, because that's the only way you could pass a carbon tax. Is like, hey, you're going to get a rebate stipend, though. We'll pay you back. Not as much as we get, but we'll pay you back. Because if you didn't do that, nobody would accept it. Wow, genius. 70th minute. Only bad thing is his footwork, but he's done even more with less. But even then, he does more with less. Drake May? Boy, done more with less? I actually like that. 
considering the Patriots have no good wide receivers. Yeah, I like that. Exactly. Which, in theory, during wartime, you might have to do it. So I'm not saying they were wrong in that case, but as soon as the war was over, well, as soon as World War II was over, they should have stopped. You see, because I think we all knew there's a water break. Prince of Wusu is about to come on for TFC for Davey Flores. See, it was always pretty obvious that World War II was going to happen. World War II was always destined to happen. If you look at it, World War II was always destined to happen because of the way the Treaty of Versailles ran. It was not a treaty. It was not a armistice. It was a ceasefire for 20 years. What happened 20 years later? World War II. Because, of course, when you blame a country, even when they weren't the reason the war started, because let's remember, World War I started when Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated by Gavarillo Princip. Germany had nothing to do with that. See, Germany used World War I as a possibility to strengthen their empire. under Otto von Bismarck, General Otto von Bismarck. Tristan Blackman coming on for Vancouver. So basically, Germany got blamed for growing their empire. Which, Tristan Blackman and Sam Atakubi coming on for Vancouver. Which, again, frankly, Vitae and Utvikov. Frankly, mm, I mean, chaos Chaos is a good motivator, right? But chaos is a good motivator. But then again, even in World War II, Germany also tried to extend their empire again. So, I mean, in both cases they did. Except they were definitely a fault for World War II. World War One, on the other hand, World War One started in Sarajevo. Sarajevo. But again. Austria-Hungary Empire had the best standard of living before World War I. Yep. This is true. Chicago-Washington, any team trades up for a quarterback's a good situation. Fair enough. Playing forward, 73rd minute. See what Toronto breaking my heart's doing? It's making me talk about <laughs> war. <laughs> It's making me talk about how wars started. But if I was a coach, see, this leads into my point. If I was a football manager, you know how Mike Leach did a class on insurgent warfare and football strategy? Talk about college football, gridiron football. I would definitely, if I was a if I was a football manager, I would definitely pick up that mantle. Because I know a lot about insurgent warfare. I don't support war. I'm not a war hawk, but I know a lot about insurgent warfare. And if you were coaching an MLS team, well, you're also sort of an insurgent if you want to win more than just an MLS Cup or even CONCAF Champs Cup. Even then, you're not the favorite. So you're basically in an insurgent mindset if you're on an MLS, if you're coaching an MLS team. Or a CONCACAF team, for that matter. Um, so, yeah. Football tactics and insurgent warfare, putting that together. Just a different football than how Leach was doing it. Yeah, that's exactly... Yeah, I think that's exactly... I, should pick, I would pick up the mantle for that. 
I totally would. I totally would. It's genius. It's genius. To have a plaque on the spot, Archduke Ferdinand was assassinated. I think I heard about that. Yeah, I think I heard about that. 75th minute, 2-0 Vancouver. The veggie dance sound on TikTok goes hard. The dance is amazing. I was like, why'd you send me that? I mean, it was funny. I'm not going to lie. And it does go hard. But I'm like, why'd you send me that? As that's the first time I saw it, I'm like, what? I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, nah. I was like, okay, yeah, it's, it, it does go hard. It was the first time I saw it. Might have to turn my boss into a TikToker while I'm working here. Okay, that's a that's that does seem pretty funny, smart. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But again, it makes sense what I'm saying. If you are a coach in CONCACAF, I mean, of course, you have designs on winning more than just your league and the CONCACAF Champions Cup. You want to be a world champion. You want to be a world champion. You want to be an intercontinental champion. You want to beat more teams than just your confederation. Well, you're going to have to do it in a very insurgent way, a very guerrilla tactics way. You can. It just takes the right, it just takes the perfect performance and the right tactics. But it's possible to win against a bigger team out of CONCACAF. I think it's possible. But you have to be on the money. You have to have an insurgent guerrilla mindset. You have to. I think that's the main. But if you have that mindset, the players are bought in, you can beat anybody. I mean, the ball's round for a reason. You can beat anybody. So I think, again, that's why it goes together. One of the junior managers told me that one of the reasons I got hired by the boss was she thought I was cute. Hey, hey, you know what? Hey, if you got pretty privilege, I mean, hey, use it. <laughs> I mean, use it, you know? Hey, I'm just saying, hey. Don't don't question it, you know. Just be happy about it, you know. I, I think that's a that's a compliment. I mean, it could end up being a bad situation. I'm not saying when it comes to you, I think you would be. You are a good worker. You would be a good worker. Just, it's if there were a bad worker, just they, they were there because they were cute. But hey, you know what? Oh, they're finally going to let Cassius Malula play. Yay. They're finally going to let him play. Good. I can't believe it. It took six, it took seven games. Six games and 80 minutes. Akinola and Cassius Malula. Okay, yeah, we are throwing up the white flag, though. Io Akinola. Well, at least Cassius is playing. <laughs> and they're going to bring on Io. Jade Naomi and Bianca win. Gomez is off. For uh, Akinola. Oh, they accidentally put a 20 on there like his old number was. <laughs> He's like, oh, you're I.O. Akinola. I'm going to put a 20 on the board instead of a 9. Uh, did anybody else notice that? Or was that just me? I could have sworn there was a 20 on the board. Maybe that was my brain messing with me. But again. Uh, you know, maybe that was my brain. I was like, I could have sworn I saw a 20. Could have sworn I saw a 20. DeAndre Kerr's off for Cassius Malula. If we draw this game after with 10 minutes to go, I'm going to be shocked. 
But hey, at least they're going for at least getting a goal. At least they didn't give up. Well, actually, I did say it was the white flag. Cassius Malula. I think he would have been a perfect player to start this game, considering how slow this pitch plays. That's out for a corner. Pretty privilege at its finest. <laughs> exactly. 80th minute. So, wait, we got it. Boom, 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 boom. So, it's got to be... It's Gunther Sami Zayn right now, isn't it? Oh, 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 I hope Sammy wins the Intercontinental title. Come on, man. Oso. Header. Oh! So I can watch most. And it's 3-0 Vancouver. Ryan Gould, of course. I mean, I'm not surprised it wasn't your first time benefiting. Ryan Gould scores against the run of play because, of course, he's all alone, puts us to the sword. Malula doesn't get back. Oso doesn't get back. And it's rolled in by Ryan Gould, 3-0. Man, that's so horrible. 82nd minute. My God. Against the run of play. Osorio didn't want to shoot with his left. Amateur move, of course. Because they're they're too weak to shoot. Shoot with your weak foot. Don't try to take a touch on the other. You didn't miss much. I shouldn't even have watched it. But you know what? I watched it so you don't have to. You didn't miss much to the point where I was talking about how wars start, taxation is theft, and the fact if I was ever a football manager, I'm going to bring back Mike Leach's insurgent warfare and football tactics class, but focus it on association football. That's exactly what you saw tonight. <laughs> ah, man, I love this channel sometimes. Man, I love this channel sometimes. <sighs> yeah, I think the RSR is going to end up being born. <laughs> what else? Can, what can I say? What can I say? What can I say about this game that uh, I didn't say last week or besides the fact we played like we did last week? I wonder what it'll be. Maybe I should wait for the presser. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty privileged got me noticed by that one girl when I worked at Starbucks. If you know, you know. Did that end up being your girl? Nope. I told you I told well you aren't you weren't wrong. I said we would get scored on three times. I just thought it'd be the other way. A different way, but you I did agree with you. We were gonna get scored on a third time. Ralph Prezo's coming on for his Vancouver debut. Johnson coming on as well. Not like last year for Toronto, though. <laughs> I'm sure you would have been better than Greg Ronjit Singh. That's too much. Now that is complete dooming. Yeah, Herman ain't perfect, but he certainly ain't the worst. Do I think I could do better? Yes.
the girl I'm with, though, pretty privileged, helped me out with that, too, got me, because went back to her place on the first date. Maybe! <laughs> hey! I'm happy things are going well for you. I could be a pro and not use both feet. I don't know. They're, they're scared to shoot on their dominant foot. Corner for Vancouver, 85th minute. Mr. Doom and Gloom. And your Lampard's veil. Oh, dear God. I don't want him to coach Canada. If he coaches Toronto FC... <laughs> I'd rather have, well, no, actually, no. Give me Precky back. I'm sure he's available. I said Vancouver would score one more. You were right. I agreed with you. I just thought it was going to be in a different way. Then uh, the one more. I thought it was going to be 2-2. Then they win with a third. You know, you know football. I do think you're a bit of a doomer, but you know football, yes. I never question what you know. My dad would chew me out for not using my left foot. As an impossible to read heat map. Bernadeschi's been all over the field and ain't done shit. That's what I saw. 87th minute. Come on, Sammy Zane. I want Sammy to win the Intercontinental title. Can we have at least that? My favorite Quebecer, Sammy Zane. My favorite Quebecer, Sammy Zane. Eighty seventh minute. Let's get this one over with. Come on, just blow the damn whistle at ninety. I'm, I'm tired. I would love Gunther to go for the heavyweight title. Gunther versus Drew would be a freaking woo. That that match would be amazing. Man, a Gunther versus Drew match be amazing. Herman's not going to do better than Armis and Bradley's one-dimensional. I think he has. Longstaff was the best TFC player today. I would agree with that. This is like the bad. This was like the bad, the worst performance of Tyree Spicer yet. I mean, it was only his third start and fourth game, but... I mean, you're bound to have a bad game at some point. Goal, and it's 4-0 Vancouver. And another horrible play on a cross. Fafa Pico gets two. 88th minute, and we blow it on a corner again. Both Fafa Pico's goals come on a bad defended corner. Four nil. And he just taps it in. Yeah, I can see it. I like the Serbian Wad Eagles. I think I have a lot of respect for them as a club. They're a good academy. They have a good group. Uh, I respect them as a club. They do good work. And they also find better players than the Toronto FC Academy does because they can scout better than us. I have a lot of respect for the Serbian Wad Eagles. And a lot of those local clubs, Von Azzori, Toronto Metros, Toronto Croatia, or yeah, Toronto Croatia, a lot of those local uh, groups, 89th minute, I have a respect for them, so. Columbus tied it. When is the next live? When are we getting the Liga Mekis game? My next live's on Tuesday. Columbus versus Tigres. And review. Um, 
Next time we're doing a Lee Mekis game, I think is next weekend. Next Sunday, I think. I have no idea. It's going to be crap. We have seven minutes of stoppage time. That's only three days. Three days is long. It'll be here before you know it. It'll be here before you know it. 91st minute. It'll be here before you know it. Six and a half more minutes. Eight goals in two games. Herdman showing himself out the door. I agree with that. I agree with that. 70s, I went to a lot of Toronto-Croatia versus Serbian White Eagles games. They were massive bloody fights with fans in the 70s. Well, I think we know why. Croatia and Serbia, well, they have a very intense history together. So, I think we know why there were fights. Croatians and Serbs have a very tight, his a very uh, tumultuous history together. I think we know why there were fights. 92nd <laughs> minute. I agree with that. They do lack depth. Herman can win at home and can't win away. Team just falls apart. That sounds like Greg Berhalter. 92nd minute. Please stay for Mania. I got to do the RSR, so. Heard Colorado was a good coach. Yeah, Armis is doing better at Colorado than he did at Toronto. But I think they railroaded Armis. They didn't reload. They did not reload at all. <clears throat> they just basically threw him under the bus. Toronto, Croatia, Serbian White Eagles, Toronto, Italia, Panhellenic, and first Portuguese would get thousands of games. Because Toronto has always had these ethnic clubs uh, of these diaspora nations, which I think is genius. Sad team. I mean, yeah, this team. Perez got railroaded too. I agree with you. Because he didn't make the playoffs. They always wanted Bradley. Armis had to make the playoffs to save his job. And even then, they might have found a way to railroad him. But you can't really railroad a guy who makes the playoffs. Same with Perez. It was make the playoffs or you get railroaded. And that's why Armis was gone so quickly. Because it was so bad that they didn't want him anyway. I believe which gave Perez a shot. It looked pretty good at times, but they still didn't make the playoffs. And then he was out the door. They always wanted Bradley in 2022. They always did. How come Vancouver didn't play like this against Tigres? Because they weren't just, they just didn't. Besides, Toronto's way worse. 0.82 expected goals, we can't score. 0.158 expected goals, Vancouver has four. They've definitely outperformed their XG because we've actually, basically four defensive mistakes, like old, like last year. Like this was a last year performance. 
way bad. I mean, this is hell, the last three years' performance. Four, two horrible defended corners. Davey Flores passing it right to the legs of Brian White and nobody able to catch up to Ryan Gould. And here we are. I'm the best. I call it as I see it. I swallowed the red pill. If there's a little bit of a silver lining, I'm going to hold on to it. There's a difference between me and you. I'll call it like I see it, but if there's a little bit of a silver lining, there's always going to be a portion where I'm like, hey, maybe. John Herman's really emphasized the point that great teams don't lose back-to-back -back games. Well, we were never great, but we certainly aren't great now. But I don't think we were ever great these first couple of weeks. We definitely outkicked our coverage. We definitely outkicked our coverage. 96 minute. Which is a good thing. But there's more for this team to learn. Way more. But thank God they outkicked their coverage. Because if we did it, dear Lord, just imagine how much. Just dear Lord. Imagine how bad it would be, the discourse around this club, if they didn't. Io's cooked, man. Yeah, uh, we've said this for three years now, since he blew out his knee. And it's funny, because John Herdman wants to give Io a chance, because he feels like he's the guy who ruined Io's career when Io just blew out his knee. I kind of feel like John Herdman owes a debt to him, is what he feels I'd throw him out the door. Honestly, if I was the coach, what I would do is send Io to the CPL. I'd send him to Forge. See how he could do at Forge. If he can't score there, he's legitimately cooked. If he can score there, maybe he gets some looks from some other teams to get him out of the door. Or maybe you give him a chance if he can't get him out of the door because he gained back some confidence. Either way... With that being said, it's 4-0 at full time. Thank God it's over. With that being said, if you like this stream, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification once subscribe. Send some chats on live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in play. Share friends and family. All that great stuff. TFC, you suck. It was a bad day. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace.